صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله Welcome to you Alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting us another opportunity and not only just granting the opportunity but making it easy for us to come together to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to come in suhbah and the importance of Sohba with with people of goodness, of khair, cannot be stressed. This whole tariqa, Naqshbandiya al aliya is based upon Sohbatul Salihin. In following in the footsteps of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that his Sohba took, transformed anyone who was in that Sohba, was transformed into stars for humanity by virtue of their connection. And so this Tariqa al-Naqshbandi al-Aliya is based upon that Sunnah that we claim not that we have anything special or we have ilm or we have... No, but our claim is that we know men of Allah, we know Ahlullah. Our claim is that we associate ourselves with men whom we deem to be near and dear to our Lord. That is it. That's that's tariqa. No more, no less. And shaitan is trying to even disrupt in this this particular this important aspect now with with the COVID and uh, regulations is to for people not to be together. Everyone on their own or virtually it's at least it's something but but the, the understanding is that Bolana Sheikh Nazim was saying that if two people come for Allah's sake together, each one of them can stay by themselves for years and they will not get the benefit of that coming together in Allah's way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu in his hadith about the sweetness of Iman and in another hadith about who, those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, shades on the day when there is no shade. And one of the categories is the two people that love each other for Allah's sakes, that come together for Allah's sake, no other reason. And in the hadith of the halawatul Iman, the sweetness of Iman, that a person loves his brother, does not love him for any other reason other than that for Allah's sake. And this is what tariqah is supposed to be. We are from different places coming together for what? Coming to say Allah. Coming to say La ilaha illallah. No other tie, no relationship, no blood relationship. No business, no, <laughs> no money transferred. We're just coming to say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so these events, regardless of how small or large they are, are priceless. And even those who are joining us online, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْنِيَّاتِ Maybe if they, if they could be with us physically, we will be physically together. But they're not able to, so they are joining us virtually. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them that high rank, insha'Allah, of suhbah. Suhbah. When we sit, we say madad. We are asking for support. We are not saying you are sitting with this faqir here standing and sitting in front of the camera or uh, making a... No. We are sitting by the permission and order of our teacher, our Shaykh, who we believe is representing his Shaykh and his father, Mawana Shaykh Nazim, and carrying his secret, that secret 
which comes to us through the golden chain. All the way to Sayyidina Muhammad That's our belief. So when we are sitting here, we are merely, our action is merely trying to connect our uh, hook to that chain. Uh, and then whatever, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to grant, whatever our, our teachers want to teach, it is their prerogative. But for us coming here is, the example is just connecting, is hooking ourselves up in essence. And I wanted to say something I was reading about uh, well, Sheikh Nazim in this Sohbah is saying, if you sit a thousand years by yourself, you will not find Al-Inaya, that, that, that benefit, that care, that uh, heavenly um, emanation, you call it, uh, garnering the attention of awliya, you will not find that same uh, what you get out of a gathering, you will not find it, he said, even if you're thousand years by yourself. So we don't want to make it too long tonight. But last week we spoke about the Antichrist, Adan Allah Min, and how Intidarul Faraj Ibadah, how to believe in the Hadi of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that he, as he is a Sadiq al Masduq, and to prepare for what he warned us against, and to look at what's happening in this world now with that eye, with that lens, the Muhammadan lens, the prophetic lens, and to read the events that are happening in our world through those those lenses. Because we can, yeah, we can, the problem is today is that people stop taking religion seriously. And this is one of the signs when Antichrist will appear, is that deen becomes light, religion becomes light. No one takes it really lightly. Yes, you say, oh, Prophet ﷺ spoke about the coming of the Antichrist and Mahdi ﷺ and all these things. Yes, but like storytelling. You know, one day this is going to happen, but eh, who knows? It's never going to happen in my time. No. Intidharu al-Faraj ibadah, Prophet ﷺ said, and believing the, the, the way the companions were when he was speaking about the events of Akhirul Zaman is that they believed, they were looking to see if he's going to appear that instant. They were not thinking, oh, this is now where Prophet Wasallam. We it's not going to happen in our time. They were thinking instantly this might happen now. So they were, they had that faith and i'tiqad that What Prophet ﷺ has foretold and promised will happen. Our Grand Shaykh Mawlana Shaykh uh, Nazim, 70 years he was forecasting the coming of Mahdi ﷺ and the fitan of the Antichrist. We live in, in the age of fitna, of discord, yes. We live in the time where chunks of darkness, I'm not talking just darkness, the, the, the ones that we see with our eyes. I'm talking the ones that veil our hearts and veil our basira and veil, veil our understanding and perception. Those darknesses. I'm talking about people like herds. One day go right, one day go left. Everybody doesn't know what's right. Everybody not, doesn't know what's true. This is type of darkness. This is type of darkness. Chunks of darkness, Prophet ﷺ. He wasn't talking about just night darkness. He was talking about the darkness that makes people ignorant and veiled. That make people in the morning wake up believers, go to sleep unbelievers. 
This is happening now. Look at what's going on around us. Look at the propaganda machines that is hurting millions and billions right and left. Families within on the same table fighting. One says, I heard this. The other one says, no, I heard this. The other one say, I heard that like this. Religion? Ah, Shaykh. We have, we have bigger problems. This is, this has been all foretold by Sayyidina Muhammad These events that are going to happen now, and some of it, one thing for sure has happened, is that the human capacity for understanding and our inner eye of Basira is for the most part completely blinded now. And if you talk to people in general, that is not in existence anymore. Basira. Ilham, inner, inner, inner seeing. Where do you go in this time if you don't have anyone that that can can uh, act as a compass for you in this time? So we are, inshallah. Our intention is to wait for Allah's faraj, into the faraj ibadah to wait for Allah's relief in these difficult times and to keep our connection strong to our mashayikh so that our inner eye stays open, so that our uh, inspiration antenna still works. And then we wait and see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends.